chromatography. It is a technique used to separate different components of a mixture. In chromatography, the sample is transported in a mobile phase. The mobile phase can be a liquid or a gas. Let's see how chromatography works. First, the mobile phase along with the sample in it passes to the stationary phase. The stationary phase is made up of material that does not react with the mobile phase. When the mobile phase flows through stationary phase, the sample molecules get separated. Remember, the sample molecules float on the stationary phase at different speeds. This is because different sample molecules react differently with the stationary phase. Some sample molecules react strongly with the stationary phase, while others react less with the stationary phase. The sample molecules which interact weakly with the stationary phase move fast. Therefore, they travel to the bottom part of the stationary phase. Those sample molecules which interact directly with the stationary phase move slowly, therefore they stay at the top part of the stationary phase. Applications of Chromatography Chromatography is used for the analysis of different substances like drugs, hormones and vitamins etc. It is also used for the separation of proteins, carbohydrates and amino acids. It is a brilliant technique for the analysis of complex mixtures. Chromatography is also used to identify and determine the molecular weight of proteins. Types of Chromatography Chromatography is of several types like column chromatography, paper chromatography, affinity chromatography, thin layer chromatography, gel permeation chromatography, ion exchange chromatography, and gas chromatography, etc. The name chromatography is derived from two Greek words, chroma which means color and graphene which means to write. So, the term chromatography literally means color writing. The mobile phase is eluent. Each sample molecule in the column is called eluite. Eluite scaping with the mobile phase is called eluate. Michaels with discovered chromatography for the first time. He used chromatography technique to separate different pigments of plant such as chlorophyll and keratinoids etc. That is it for today's video. Make sure you are subscribed to the Science Entertaining. Like and share this video if you want to help others. Stay tuned. I will see you in the next video.